Today we're going to be trying out Prehistoric Domain, a new VR experience centered around dinosaurs. So let's get started. What you need to do is open it up on your Oculus browser, link in the description, and choose which one of the dinosaurs you want to see. I'm going to be showing you my favorite clips from each of the experiences. We do start out in this first area, we can move around, it's not too difficult. But my favorite part is that Prehistoric Domain actually got the rights to put in a real movie. So if we go into this theater right here, we can watch an actual dinosaur movie directly in VR. How cool is that, guys? And now let's check out the exhibits. First off, we had the Edmontosaurus. Now, I thought this one was pretty cool. It was my first time actually seeing any of the dinosaurs. And keep in mind, I am recording after the fact, just because my audio did get corrupted. Next up, we have the amazing T-Rex. Absolutely stunning. Everything is animated and actually looks so realistic, especially in VR. So if you guys haven't tried this out yet, I'd highly, highly recommend it. And now we have the Quetzalcoatlus. Coatless. Not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but you know. Don't come at me for it. I thought this one was cool, especially because this little guy is trying to steal an egg. But then the mama bird comes around and he just runs away. Especially in VR, these are all so gigantic. It's so cool to watch. I didn't realize any of these were actually as large as they were. So seeing them in as person as I can, pretty cool. Now we're going to see the Triceratops. This one was especially cool because we actually get to ride around like an attraction, just like the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park movies. Not only do we get to see the Triceratops, but we also get to see the long necks. I forget what they're called, but you guys know. If you do let me know, let me know in the comment section below.
and after driving past those, we come upon this little waterfall thing right here, where we get to run around and see a couple of different Triceratops. I think it's really cool the fact that they all have different patterns and looks to them as well. Now we have the Sarcosuchus, I think I'm pronouncing that right. And for some of these, the audio is working. I'm not really sure why it didn't. Maybe it was an issue with the browser. Basically, they're these crocodile-looking things, alligator-looking things, and, well, they're enormous. Oh no, not the bird in the mouth, come on. Okay, he's safe. And the coolest attraction yet, in my opinion, the Spinosaurus. So we actually get to see it swimming and moving around up top. And then it comes right in front of us, drinks some water. And it even has a friend come join us. And after yelling at each other for a second, We start to sink. Now, I didn't expect this, and you guys can't tell, but I was basically screaming while I was recording this because I really wanted it to happen.
So we can actually go down and see a view of them underwater as they're swimming. So we have the shark thing coming around. comes around twice. And then we get to see it one more time. Now the Den Denenicus, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that. These kind of remind me of velociraptors, but with wings. I, I think that's essentially what they are, but very cool. Now we have the Demetrodons. First off, we see this little lizard swimming there, or I guess moving along. And after a little while, this giant guy just comes out of nowhere and especially seeing it so close, it's absolutely stunning. Now, the only attraction that I didn't really like were the pterodon, the pterodactyls, because, yeah, they fly around, but none of them really got close to the cage that we were staying in which kind of stunk because I wanted to see an up-close version of them, but regardless, they were still pretty cool. Last but not least, my absolute favorite, because I love sharks and dinosaurs, but mainly sharks, the Megalodon. So yeah, it swam around, and my first time looking around, we see this guy right here, this swordfish just coming. And then out of nowhere, the megalodon just eats the swordfish. Now, especially my first time watching it, I was absolutely dumbfounded because I did not expect it. And again, this is prehistoric domain, link in the description. Definitely make sure to support the creators. You can also check out the store. But if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching.